Yo, what is poppin', everybody? Brennan with Atlas Stationers coming at you live from Chicago. Happy Friday. We are here today pulling, or I should say packing, your orders on TikTok Live. So I got some nice orders here to pack from people like you who submitted them. We got a very cool day lined up. It is Friday the 13th in October. It's a very spooky day. It's gloomy here in Chicago, a little bit rainy, a little bit breezy. So I figured that uh, it's probably the correct weather for such a, a spooky day. But we'll let some people join and then we'll jump right into it. Uh, a lot of you seem to have ordered um, our Estabrooks. Uh, basically, for those of you who aren't aware, Estabrook released a brand new model called the Raven, which sold out already pretty quick, like within like one full day. And then we also brought in different nib variations for some of our Estabrook selection in which you guys already uh, bought out as well. So really appreciate the love. Estabrook is a great line. Uh, if you're not familiar, it's a great, great pen at about $200. So you can't really uh, go wrong with it. Calderon 777, good morning. Joy says now he's live. I know, I know, I was running really late. I, uh, I'm sorry. If one of you could maybe throw in the Discord chat that we're live now, that would be good. That would be good. But yeah, sorry, I was running. I always run late. Anytime I tell you I'm going live, like it's like 15 minutes after that. So, and yeah, wearing my Friday the 13th shirt. Look at that. I got a bunch of dogs on my shirt. Somebody threw in the Discord. I just got the notification. He is definitely live now. I know, I know, I know. My bad. My bad. Coming to see you guys on Monday for Hobonichi. That's what's up. Wave up. Finally made it to a live. Welcome back. Welcome back. How do I invite people again? I invited people before. I don't know. Do you guys get notifications? Thank you for sharing the live, by the way. You know, our lives are so weird. Some days we get like a thousand viewers throughout the entire video. Some days we only get like 200 viewers. So I don't know what's going on. Sometimes we got hundreds of people on the call at once. Sometimes we got 10 people, but it doesn't matter because we're here for you. No matter the crowd. I want to say thank you all for the support as we get into this fourth quarter, dive deeper into the holidays. Fountain Pen Day is November 3rd coming up. We got major, major things planned. Uh, we got obviously Black Friday. Then we've got the holiday season in December. Grace, what's up? Who is that behind you? That's my not as good looking nor athletic brother, AKA your hubby. Yeah, look at him. Looks like a pumpkin today wearing the Justin Fields jersey. The only one who matters. Oh wait, the only one who matters is me. Nice. Tanya, you all matter, you all matter. All right, so. Who, who submitted an order? If you submitted an order and you're watching right now, I'll start with yours. I got like seven of them here. Somebody submitted an order like last minute, like literally like 30 seconds ago. So, man, what's popping? How we doing? Joy, I got yours right here. Let's start with you. This order is for Joy C. Order number 137893. You got some Hobonichi, didn't you? Got the A5 cover good stuff good stuff for those of you new here we go live about three times a week uh, we have a retail store here in downtown chicago and we're right now in the back warehouse uh, we do live order polling on about usually on mondays and then on wednesdays or friday we do live packing so if you want to see your order pulled or packed live head over to our website atlasstationers.com place an order and leave a note at the checkout screen asking to be joined or asking for your order to join the queue. Um, you can see it picked or packed live. We always give a free gift, stickers, inks, all that good stuff. So, Joy, here we go. You got the A5 right here. You got the Weeks cover on cover. Is that correct? Or were you were you trying to get the cover on cover for the A5 size? I don't know if you have a Weeks at home, but this is a smaller model. So, I imagine you assume, or I imagine you got the A5 because you got the A5 diary right there so just real quick did you mean to get this one because this is the smaller weeks correct okay you do have a week's all right 
hey, see, that's a little perk of, you know, having the uh, the orders pulled live is when we see things like this, you can interact with us directly. Brian, your wife's watching. She says you look so hot right now. Oh, my goodness. Not as hot as me. That's my brother in the orange, the Justin Fields jersey. In fact, Brian's wife and my fiance are going to be spending some time together this weekend. They're going to our future sister-in-law's bridal shower. So gives them some girl time to probably talk about how annoying Brian and I are, how much we love football, how all we talk about is pens, you know? My goodness. Girl time is good, though. Uh -huh, yeah, Grace throwing some clown emojis. Yeah, Brian is a clown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was planning on doing it just to see my order pulled, but I showed restraint. Nice, nice. Sometimes you just got to pass. Hold an order for Izzy. We can submit an order for Izzy. Why do I never work Saturdays? That's the only day I've been able to. All three, you weren't there. Uh, Remy, I usually am not in on Saturdays because I, I do Monday through Friday. Um, occasionally, like maybe once a month or once every few months, I do come in on Saturdays. Um, but you know, I, I'm already putting a lot of hours in and, you know, five plus days a week. So sometimes I, I got to get a breather as well. Look at that. But I'll try to come in on a Saturday soon. Wave says, I swear we're all here just for Brendan's Schmidt talking. Nice. Uh, Joy, you also ordered an Esterbrook. Oh my gosh, you did. Here you go. Right here. I didn't realize you had two orders. I'm going to ship them together if that's cool. So you actually took advantage of the new uh, nib selection that we brought in. We, we listened to all of you on the Discord server, and you asked for more Esterbrook nibs or more pens with those specialty nibs. So we listened and we expanded. This one's got the Gina Salarino Custom Nib Studio Journaler Grind. It's hard to see, but it's super dope. Wait, which way are we going? Wait, wait, ah. Okay, there we go. Yeah, great, great pen. The Journaler Nib is super fun to use. Uh, do you have go-to pens every day? Yeah, so some of the most popular go-to pens um, are going to be like the Twisby Eco, the Pilot Custom 823. For me, I love the Pelican M800, the Lamy 2000, the Sleeper Pick, the Graphon Favorite Castell, Guilloche. I mean, it's all subjective. Strood said, that's how I get my husband to shut up. I just talk about pens. Nice. Hey, it's a good tactic. It's a good tactic. All right, uh, Joy, since you got two orders here, I was throwing in some stickers, but I don't want to give you two Winnie stickers. So give me one second. I'm just going to pull you a different one. You probably have one of these already, but I got to do it. I got to do it. You're getting another if you already have one of these. Tiny said Izzy needs a purple pen. Izzy indeed needs a purple pen. I think that's her favorite color, right? All right, we're gonna need a nice big old box. Oh, this might be the winner. The 10 by 13 by six. There's a big box for sure. Very nice. Joy, can you post a pic of the cover when you get it on Discord? It's on my list, but I don't know if I want it yet. Yeah, it's a cool thing about Discord. How many of y'all are in the Discord server? You want me to sign it? I'll sign the sticker. 
The problem is I lost the sticker signing pen. Yeah, I had a nice silver one. But I lost it. And I found it. Let's go. Let me just sign this real quickly. Hold on, I gotta shake it. It's one of those shaker things. Ooh, the hair's getting crazy. There we go. I've always wondered, is there a better marker than these paint sharpies to sign stickers? I don't know if this is the move. I mean, it worked, it worked, but it worked. But it's hard, I don't know, I don't know. I wrote, stay smooth on there, Joy, stay smooth. All right, I gotta let this dry real quickly. Is there a is there a nib stubbier than a stub? I have one five, and I, I want even stubbier. Uh, Lamy does a one point nine millimeter. The recent Discord mentioned Hamilton, and I have listened to the album twice yesterday. Nice, Hamilton. Yeah, it looks better in person, by the way, Joy. Just wait till you see it in person. I promise. Get you a good card. Don't know what that says. Sometimes I can't read Mama T's handwriting. Ink, ink, uh, sketch right. Ink, sketch right. All right. Stop spamming. Oh, okay. I'm going to have to mute. I'm going to have to mute. I just had to mute someone, guys. First time I've ever muted someone. Yeah, please don't spam. I don't mind if you obviously put whatever message you want in the chat, but don't spam. It's hard for me to keep up with stuff. Still in search of the most shimmery ink. Any recommendations? Uh, Tanya, don't you know a lot about shimmery inks? Guess the weight. What's the weight? What's the weight? The weight is two pounds, almost three. Joy, my goodness. So 13 by 10 by six. Get a wear and go ink. Get a wear and go ink. Pelican Golden Barrel, that's a good one.
Joy, much love. I just spent like 20 minutes packing your order. That might have been the longest order packing order I've ever done. So what a blessing. It was you. All right, let's get to the next one. Next up, we've got Sherry Y, order number 137624. Sherry is also doing an Estabrook SD. With the journaler nib, seems to be popular. Just this one is the Cobalt Blue. Converter's good to go. Yeah, Estabrook is such a solid brand. The SDs are so nice. The SDs I could see being like a, a pen model that I collect. Then we also got the Visconti Rembrandt Lavender. Some of the comments in this live are filtered to protect the community's experience. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's more people spamming. Um, but, you know, I know there's a, obviously a lot going on with the whole uh, Palestine-Israel thing. So, um, you know, very unfortunate that that is happening. But, you know, we just do our best to stay neutral. So I think that's what that person was spamming was the one of the flags. You know, we just pray that everyone, you know, stays healthy and well and we have world peace. But it seems very challenging to, to do. Uh, this is the Atlas exclusive vampire pigeon this is another really great shimmering ink love your videos please pull my order live on tiktok i don't need any more monteverde inks though if i could have one of your stickers that would be great all right so i got a sticker right there and then let me make the box go Shoot, I already have one of these out. I'm glad we are stepping up and buying what we are asking Atlas to carry. Yes. Considering we uh, brought a lot of this stuff in because of you guys. See, we listen. We actually listen. I don't know if this box is big enough. I don't think it is. We're busting out the 13 by 10 by four. Brian won't buy the pen I want. He hates me. That's something you got to settle with him. I'm not getting involved. Can I have one of the ship box stickers? Sher yes. Sherry, that's actually what I, I folded up. I actually, you got two right here coming in. have to fight Brian maybe There should be a sticker of you doing the dropkick shipping method. I like that. I like that idea. What is my grill pen? Um, you know, I am a huge fan of, uh, even though I'm not really too familiar with like this literature, but Monte Grappa did a pen called uh, Dante Paradiso. Oh my God, it was crazy. That was a crazy pen for sure. Look it up. We had a couple in the shop, but we sold them, so I don't have it to show. But the detail is insane. So th they did three of them. Dante's Purgatory, Dante's Inferno, Dante's um, Paradiso. Today is beautiful. Um, that pen was just absolutely baller. Okay, we got this one pulled up. Montegrappa King Tut, yep. What are your grail pens? Don't want that to show. Let's 
throw one more in. Yours is on the way. What is it, Lena? I also would love to own one of the Pelican Machiés, the M1000 Machiés. One day. One point eight on the weight, almost two pounds. Jerry, much love. Thank you as always. Easily the Batman of the Lord of the Rings. Yeah, those pens are baller for sure. Much love. A little, little, little kiss on the package. All right. Next up, we got Amanda F. Order number one three seven seven six two. This is the brand new Raven SD. I told you Estabrook was popular today. I want the Platinum Galaxy. Maybe of I go on YouTube and say I never own it. Maybe you want nice. Here's the new Raven. We're, we're sold out right now. So um, this one came with a water bottle, which is pretty dope, which I have a water bottle. I'll show you it real quickly. We expect to restock of these in December. So if you missed out, December's the restock. Sailor Ink Studio number 280. And this is the water bottle. I got one open. Let me go show you it. Dope. So that was a limited time thing. So I don't know if the next batch will have some. Lena, you got the, the push button one? Yeah, cool design. I think they're going to do more push button fillers just because this one was so successful. I think they were kind of like doing like a little trial and error. You know, seeing like gauging the community's response. Not trial and error, but like seeing if, if this was a successful release. Because once they do the uh, the system, the filling system on one SD, I'm sure they can just do it on any other SDs they want. Oof. That's going to stay open. Sorry, I was off on my bubble wrap. Let's see, what kind of box can we use? I think we got to do another one of these bad boys. We're doing all these big boxes today. This one's too thin. Next size up. Just gave me an idea to put a bunch of Atlas stickers on my Yeti. Have you guys seen my desk? My desk is crazy. Although I must admit, I messed up big time. So you know how like I, we kind of just like started this thing where if you uh, if you would like to, you could send my uh, you can send me stickers and then I'll put them on my desk. Um, Kelsey, who's a, a dear friend of Atlas, sent us some stickers. And I lost the stickers. Of course they were here. I haven't lost any other stickers from anyone else, but I lost those. So I had to muster up the uh, I had to muster up the uh, the strength to tell her I lost it. And I felt really bad. But the good news is I think she's sending more. She's gonna send more. What's this one say? Have a dazzling day. Amanda, much love. Let's get a weight on this. Figure out what's good. We like big boxes and we cannot lie. Same here. Same here. TikTok packing, but only if it doesn't delay shipping. I'm super excited for this pen. Amanda, it did not delay the shipping at all. As it was going to go out today regardless. 
180 on this bad boy as well. This one's going all the way to Pennsylvania. You know what was cracking me up today? So on Discord, I know some of the moderators are on this call right now. <laughs> there was legit an entire conversation about Kermit the Frog in the moderator channel. And it was cracking me up. Cracking me up. Amanda, cheers. Enjoy. All right. This one's for Jeff M. Order number 137897. There's a lot of stuff here. Got a mystery box. Newly re-obsessed with fountain pens thanks to your TikTok. I would love to see a video of your thoughts on picking the inks. Have fun and think of unique and fantastical. I plan to use the inks to take notes during D&D uh, &D sessions. I think that's Dungeons and Dragons. And want to make my crew jealous. Tag me at G underscore OFF if you decide it's ink talk worthy. Jeff, of course we're showing it right now. We appreciate the support. And with an order like this, it's got to be shown. So you got the Manyo Haha, which is one of the most popular sailor inks on the market. Great choice. What happens in the mod cha channel stays in the mod channel. Very fair. I just think uh, the world should know how hard working our moderators are. And a prime example is by people realizing that we just talk about Kermit the Frog. I like that, though. You know the first rule of Fight Club. You know what it is. All right, we also got Half Moon with Dim Light. So these were the two inks that Jeff picked out. This one was backwards, I'm sorry. And we got some great colors here. The Andorillium Banded King Shoemaker. That's a really unique one. The Kiritake Kuja Kuryoku. Said that very good. That rolled off the tongue well. The Vampire Pigeon, look at that. That's another banging ink right there. Then Pilot Ira Suzuku ink. I got a converter here, which appears to be for this Parker IM. A burgundy. Great, great choice. It's even got a burgundy nib. This is like $60, $70. Great price. Yeah, rate the mystery box between one to fire. This one's going to North Carolina. And Jeff, if you are not watching this live, but you somehow uh, know that we post replays on YouTube, you can always catch the replay on YouTube. For those of you who are not familiar, we do post all the live videos on our YouTube channel as a replay. You don't get to see the live comments, but you get to see the video and you can leave other comments. Samantha, thanks for the follow. We just love gold trim too much. Exactly. Tanya gives her stamp of approval. That's how you know it's a good box. You guys got any plans for the weekend? I'm going to be chilling, going to the Bears game on Sunday, which should be a lot of fun. But yeah, it's supposed to rain, so... Is what it is, I guess. Oops, I keep ripping this bubble wrap. I just don't have the magic touch.
Hmm. I think it's another big box. You guys are crazy. Eclipse viewing. Nice. That sounds fun. Oh, by the way, for those who uh, are on our subscription list for the subscription boxes, we got them all out uh, two, like, two days ago. So let us know what you think of the sub box. We got a very unique brand in there that you've never seen in our shop. So we're curious to see how you like it. Tanya, I actually saw you signed up today for the subscription box. Lena says, I'm literally getting 10 inks delivered today and now I'm browsing the site again. I know it's a, it's a problem. It's a problem. But you're doing it to yourself. You're doing it to yourself. Hold on, I just realized the paint sharpie got stuck on the uh, the counter. I gotta wipe it up. Hold on, this isn't my station, so I don't want to leave a mess here. Give me one second. Hey Brian, is there something you want to say to the people real quickly? The mic is right here. Yeah, I got our next sticker idea. I just put it in there. Okay. Tanya's stamp of approval. There you go. You heard it. You heard it from the boss himself whatever sticker design that is i don't know which one he's talking about oh the tanya stamp of approval sticker huh i like that oh trevor's gonna kill me trevor i'm so sorry i am so sorry i didn't realize that the the paint marker dripped but that's character maybe we'll get some white out on it yeah, oops, I just stained the, the station here. That is not good. Oh, well, is what it is. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Uh, you could possibly cover it with these post-it notes. <laughs> All right, that's the last time I'm using that marker. That's not good. You guys, I also, uh, um, I also one time, don't tell anyone, don't tell anyone, but... One time with the tape, I, I was coming down too hard and like I, it like broke off and this sharp part just took a huge divot out of the shipping table right here. And so I feel bad because I'm just back here, you know, one hour a week, just destroying everything. All right, let's get this package weighed. Yeah. 13 by 10 by four. This one's going to, uh, yeah, North Carolina. Let's go. Use a magic eraser. That's a good idea. Men said I was going to do a sub box today, but took a step back. Yeah, you should do it. The first step is admitting we have a problem. The second step is ignoring the problem. Yes. And the third step is buying more. Nice. I'm literally getting... Oh, wait, we already saw that one. Two more. That one I'm not going to be able to pack, but I'll show. It, yeah, it's a big one. It's a big one. It's got a big item on it. It's out of it's out of my my uh, my range of capabilities. Let's find a good card here. There's apparently like good vibe cards. What's this? Hey, you're the best. There you go, Jeff. Fountains of Atlas. Thoughts on the mafia. No idea what you mean. Thank <laughs> you. 
Maybe don't address weird comments. Thanks, Jeff. Yeah, it's hard. As I'm reading these live, it's hard. Maybe people shouldn't put weird comments. Make life a lot easier. Nice. Tanya with a good recovery right there. You just threw me back like 15 years, maybe even longer, like 20 years. All right, next up we've got Dolores A, order number 137834. This is a great order. Blackwing pouch. One of the Painter series from Dominant Industry. One of the uh, Korea series inks from Colorverse, the Riveting Pond, the Poison Envy, and the Winnie sticker. Men said I just put my order in. Was it for a sub box? If it's for a sub box, I can't really show it. Uh, Dolores says, please pull my order on TikTok. I appreciate y'all. Give your sweet puppy a hug for me. Do you have any pen show inks left? Yeah, I do. I do. Yeah, here, I'll throw in this one. DC Super Show 2022. Oh, we got a blue theme here. Yeah, a lot of blue wings. It's a sub box. All right, i I can't really um, I can't really show the sub box. Maybe I'll, I'll leak one ink though. I'll leak one ink. Are black wing pencils really that superior? I'll be honest, they're pretty nice. I mean, it's, it's noticeable how nice they are, and they do a bunch of different themes and designs. They just released a new one, the Garden one, volume seventeen. We actually almost sold out of our initial shipment. And if you're watching this, my bad on like the rough corners. I just clearly don't know how to uh, deal with bubble wrap. And this station is jamming right now. Don't spoil the sub box. All right, I won't. It's amazing that you guys are, for one, saying don't spoil it. You guys are always the ones who are asking us to spoil it. You're confusing us. Are we supposed to spoil stuff or not? All right, I'll give one little teaser. The sub box has three inks in it. Sub box has three inks in it. Who already showed what? Brian, did you show one of the inks? I didn't show anything. Look at my hair parting ways right now. That's nuts. What'd you say, Brian? I didn't spoil it. I didn't show anything in this video. I know I didn't. If anyone judges you, they must look inside themselves and think, do I know how to tear bubble wrap? Yeah, most of you probably don't know how to tear bubble wrap. I'm telling you, it's not as easy as it looks. When did I, when did I spoil? When did I spoil it? I really don't remember. That did not happen in this video. Really did not happen this video. Oh, last week. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. All right. I feel better. I feel better. I've moved too much in my life to not know how to tear bubble wrap. Yeah. You know, moving's exciting, but the actual like process of moving absolutely sucks. It really does.
Now I grew up in a hoarder's house. I hated moving. So stressful. I got to be honest with you. This is life-changing advice that I found out. What I've learned throughout my super long 27 years on this planet is that I find myself a lot, lot less stressed out when I don't own as many things. Sometimes physical items kind of like can feel like baggage almost. And so I've learned just to, like if I don't wear clothes, like certain shirts or something for an entire year, why would I wear it again? You know, just donate it, get rid of it. That's what I've learned. Travel light, you know, only, only have what you use. Otherwise, it's just taking up space. Time, space, money. But that's just me. That's a, a personal feeling. I'm here to, to pack orders and give life advice. You know what they say. I'm the life coach. The life coach of the, the fine writing community. Whatever I say, you should absolutely do. Okay, unless it's for a hobby like fountain pens. Yes, okay, okay, okay. Only exclusion is products explicitly sold here at Atlas. You can never have too many of those. Good catch. Sincerely, yes. If I don't use something in six months, yeah, exactly. So there's a cool thing that I, I, I've been wanting to try in regards to my wardrobe. So like most of my shirts and like pants and stuff are hanging up. Put all of the hangers in the clothes facing one way, one direction. And then a year from now, whenever you start this, or anytime you wear something, flip the hanger and have it face the other direction. And then when you go back and look at your wardrobe a year from now, anything that still had the original way of like the original facing, like let's say it's all facing to the right to start out, anything that's still facing right, you didn't wear. Get rid of it. It's like a good way to keep track. So if you have all your clothes facing right, and once you wear it, once you wear it, turn it left, then you'll know. Get this man a Netflix special? Yes. Hollywood wisdom. What can I say? What can I say? Dolores, what's up? And no, I'm not really kissing your packages. Because if I did that, the value of your package would go up exponentially. I don't want to put a target on your porch. You know, package that was kissed by Hollywood. If word got out that you're getting one of those. Jen said, I stopped paying my mortgage. Thank the Lord. You're buying fountain pens instead? Don't let your possessions possess you. Bingo. That's basically the, the summarized version of what I'm talking about. Yeah, man, if we did a Hollywood uh, Netflix special, it'd be crazy. All right, so this next order is for April M, order number 137882, and it's got a lot of stuff on it. I'm just going to show it. I'm not going to pack it. It's, there's a really big item, and, you know, I'm not the best at packing. First up is the Cora Crea Crafts uh, tape dispenser, the washi tape dispenser, which this is sealed, but go on our website. It's been doing really well. Um, basically, it's a, a, a roll that you can put all your uh, – uh, What's the proper word? Like a spool almost. Like you put all your washi tape on it and then it's got like a sharp ledge. It literally looks like this, but just extended. So you can put all your washi tape and then store it, cut it when you use it. Super fun idea. Then we got some of the Midori special edition stationery. Hey, we should make that the title of this video. Ports Pirates Love Hollywood Kisses. Yes. Hello, the Purge Bandits would be stalking you. Yes. Then we got a Midtown Pouch. Okay. Then we got the Twisby Indigo Blue with Bronze. Then we got a mystery box here of three inks. 
The note here says, I'd like to see a YouTube video of my ink pole live. Also, can you please explain how to fill the pen with ink? This is my first purchase. Although in Seattle, I am from Chicago, so happy to support your business. Will you please email me the link to the video to my email address? Thanks. I'll try to. Yeah, when we post it, I'll try to send the link. Um, super fun. First time buyer. Look at all this good stuff. So the mystery box. So the first set of inks this person is starting off with. Blue Martini from Robert Oster. Ooh, Color vs. Wolf Point. Killer. And then the Fuchsia de Magellan Anniversary Ink. This is a crazy box. I mean, these are some premium inks, like new inks on the market, too. We don't mess around. Uh, okay, April, I will actually make a TikTok video of me filling up a Twisby Eco. I don't have one here, like with me, besides yours that's sealed. So I'll try to post a video today of me explaining how to fill it up. But let's get you a sticker. Winnie. And we got a Twisby card. Pen chant for Twisby. Hooray. Awesome. Much love, April. Good luck in the fine writing world. This one just has a funky size item. All right, we got one left, folks. When is the Kai restocking? I think it's a little bit of ways out, I think. This one is for Catherine M, order number 137868. Doing a favorite Castell Hexo. Great pen. If you want a really great pen for like $30, and you kind of want to deviate from, you know, the, the, the norm of, you know, Twisby Ecos, Lamy Safaris, check out the favorite Castell Hexo. Great pen. All right, we're doing a mystery box as well. Catherine says, hi, I would love to see my order pulled. I'm a teacher and I, I am semi new fountain pen user. I really like weird sheening and shading inks. And I think the kids find it hilarious when I grade in fun ink. Anything that does something surprising when you write with it is a hit with me. Pretty much everything I have ink wise right now is diamine or pilot cartridges in blue or grading red. But well, we got some great, great colors right here. Song of the Scarlet by Ferris Wheel Press. Enki from Waringal. And then Sailor Hinoki. So it looks like we're sticking with a, a blue and a, a red color scheme. This is the last order on the queue, guys. So if you uh, have any comments, questions, concerns, now is the time to address it. You know what? I'm wondering if I should change out one of these colors. So I think the Enki and the uh, the Sailor Ink are going to be close. And I feel like we should do something crazy. Yeah, I'm going to go pick a different one. Man, I'm just really messing up this bubble wrap. All right, I'll be right back. Let me go pick a different color. I am in the store. Any guesses as to what I'm going to pull? Any guesses? Take a guess, take a guess. I'm going to I'm going to take a different wearing gold ink. I'm going to pick a different wearing gold ink. What's it going to be? Perfect. Got one. All right. I'm heading back. All right, the color that I picked. Oh, party time would have been good. Vampire pigeon would have been good, but we already did two uh, vampire pigeons. Party time, we're out of stock. Here we go. The ink that I chose, none other. Twelfth night. This is going to be a big hit for for the the kids, the class, the students. 
12th night. What a legendary ink. Catherine, I hope you like it. Uh, I can't pack your order up because we got to edit the order. Like I can't like seal it. So I'm just going to bubble wrap it and get it in a box. You love the wearing gold 12th night. Me too. Let's get a sticker and a card. It's play pen time. You save and reuse the bubble wrap. Well, maybe I need to make sure that I peel it better. All right, you guys, that's going to do it. Much love, as always. Thank you for tuning in. Enjoy your Friday the 13th. It's a, a spooky day, but really appreciate the love and support. I'm going to try to get this uploaded today on YouTube so you can uh, go back and watch the replay. But y'all take care of yourselves. You know the drill. Stay smooth. Peace.